little Alistair also go to bed. Okay. So, Brother Ambrosius, in the morning, you will, once you get up, let's, let's first wait. You will eat immediately, send the request, and then go to Jessica. Oh no. Oh well, that was not not bad. The good outcome of that event. I hate it. I hate that event. <laughs> it's just uh, so uh, annoying if you get the bad outcome and you have to adjust your sims overall behavior. Yeah, yeah I know you're, you're freaking hungry. So I have some seed porridge then. How about you? You're still asleep, right? And that's okay. So... You eat something? That's great. Now, um... We will postpone the sermon to uh, 1 p.m. Yeah, I know you can't really make it that's a shame, but however. You go here. You stock that with coal. So just in preparation. Because you have to do a second sword today. And this episode will be a little bit longer. I want to wrap up the quest. Yep. Oh, I'm not sure who you are. But why are you talking to my son? <laughs> Also very interesting will be when he will grow up. Okay, where are you? Okay. Here we go. Um, what are you doing? Uh, no. Go here. There comes the Friar Ambrosius. And you give her the transcript. No, it's... Yes. So we got that part of the quest done. Uh, the formulas translated by Lord Storia the Great are incredibly sophisticated for when this was written. One of the most promising, again, by this mysterious mace moon is a unique combining of rare metals into what Volcom called an alloy. This may yield better results than the blade of singular ore. I will have to test this theory uh, the first chance I get. So that means... Um, she needs a prototype alloy blade. So I have to forge prototype alloys and then the blade. Now, as for uh, Brother Ambrosius, he has to send a request to Ibrary for the books. Okay, I think... Yeah, anyway, I, wanna, I wanted to make this, this quest gone. So... Do this. And Jessica, you can start forging... The alloy, where is it? Prototype alloy blade. I need a crude longsword and I need a superior alloy. Where can I get the superior alloy? I ask myself that. Um, that should be in here as well. Superior alloy. I need adamantal. How do I get adamantal? Guys, you are kidding me, right? I have to forge one thing and then the other thing. And this is kind of... Uh, I need adamantal. And I can't create it. I have to find it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I have to... F I have to find it. Well, that makes things a little more complicated. Pretty sure I cannot just find it by. Hmm. I mean, I had this stuff already. It has to be somewhere. But it's rare, so you probably don't find it everywhere. That's Ferris. Ferris is also pretty rare, as I have seen before. Let's uh, see that we can get as much as possible of these things. And you sent your book request. I don't want to know about that stuff. Okay, now you've done that. And you have to await response. However, that's not the last thing you are going to do. 
let's uh, go here and write with the watcher and study the watcher. As long as there's nothing else to do, you can as well gather a couple of XP, right? So Jessica, you are already collecting things. So let's go for that as well. I need to find out where I can find Adamantle. I do have to, but I need more. Yeah, that's the problem. I need three, right? Snowy Pigeon delivered a scroll bearing a seal of great ivory of black to Blessing Stashika who read it with growing trouble. Uh -huh. Your quest has been received and while your pursuit of knowledge is laudable, the information in question is highly prized. Before we can release it from the walls, a standard evaluation must be conducted. As such, we are sending a representative to discuss this with you further. Lord Keeper Benedictus. Oh man. This quest is uh, going to take a little while, so if this video gets too long, I will just make a cut. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah. I was kind of hoping this would be over soon. Um, okay, so Brother Ambrosius has to discuss that with this guy. So let's be a little friendly here. And chat, and of course, ask about his health and ask about the kingdom and his view of the religion, and then get to know him a little more. So, Jessica, please collect more of this stuff. I need, I need the rare metals. I'm really concerned with the fact that I don't know how to get Adamantle. I was under the impression I could create it myself, but apparently that's not the case. And if she's here already, she can as well collect these. Hmm. Then go here. There is rare stones here as well. Okay. Blensikov. So let's see. Oh, mm -hmm. I have read this book about the Watcher. Do you do some alchemy stuff? Okay. Okay. Let's let's see here. We have to pray for two hours. And we have to convert a pirate to the Pateran faith. Okay, uh, I can do both, but I want to do his quest tasks first. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, we can do that after these three transactions. That's great. And I still have to find out where the hell I can find Adamantle. <laughs> How do I, how did I get these? I think I found them somewhere, right? Oh, there's Mithral. That's, oh, oh, right, I found it. <laughs> I I will collect a little more, uh, or try to collect a little more, because it seems to be very rare, and I am under the impression that I will need more during this quest, so. I might as well collect a little more of that stuff. So, let's uh, wait. Greetings, Prior Ambrosius. I am the Pateran representative. Before I can release the precious text into your possession, I have been asked to affirm that the recipient is a man of faithful devotion. Well, not exactly a man, right? Further knowledge is never free, but must be earned or traded. If you can prove your piousness and part with your recently translated text will feel confident about lending you the only known copy of Mace Moon's Chronicles Legend of the Leafcutter. Uh, pff, yeah, sure, why not? I have to give an impassionated sermon on the benefits of lore. Yeah, well, we might as well do it. Um, but let's first of all 
Hmm. Can, can I do it immediately? No, I have to wait. So it's 1 p.m. So let's pray for two hours. Um, that would be 11.48. Right. Yeah, let's do that. While Jessica is still searching for more adamant. Which is not in there. And of course not in there. This is hard to come by, dudes. Mana stone. Phosphorus. Ferris. But only discovered. Not collected so far. I found a little bit That's great too. Okay, she's hungry. Before I continue, I should go back. And I also can check if I can fulfill this. If I have to go back anyway. So, make some food. And I also have to do these things. Uh, repair the rowboat and deliver a crude longsword. So, yeah. Stock that with coal and then forge after you've eaten. Now, as for Brother Ambrosius, it's 1 p.m. So, eh. let's give an impassionated sermon. Oh, let's start with casual. You go, Nick. Hostima, fell sip jivain, odiv parel, fezip jivne, kemrel, exibau. He takes that. Temsa de leven, du lenk terasa sobem. Hostina kesprel, very low again. I don't show how I lost that. Brusol jivain, kenek. Please, please, please. Okay. Now I have to create a crude longsword. I, I want to finish these first. Obviously, Brother Ambrosius fulfilled his task. That's great. Okay. And then I have to do the rowboat thing. Forge. Where is the rowboat? Come on, rowboat. The repaired rowboat. Okay. Jessica is hammering. Uh, I don't want to know that. You can. <laughs> so make the book exchange. And oh. then... Alright, oh. Oh, wait a sec. I can... No. Convert you? Do I have convert you? Yeah. And then pray with that person. Your devotion to the Watcher and passion for lore mark you as a true and faithful Pateran. And your affinity for the nuances of the ancient language is impressive. You could have easily been a monk of the ivory. But I see you're doing equally noble work here in Stordiria. Of course he is. Uh, enjoy the tome, Ambrosius, and may the Watcher guide you. So we got that. Uh, I have to read the legend of the leaf cutter. Okay, I have to deliver these two things. Then come back. While Brother Ambrosius is taking care of this, right? Convert her. Ah. I have to do the praying thing for two hours. But maybe I should read the book first. <laughs> so this has been cleared. Very good. This has also been cleared. Now let's see. Jessica should be able to forge the alloy prototype blade now. 
No, she will not, because I need to... Um, will she? Well, let me see. No, I have to create the um, superior alloy before. No, I don't. Wait a sec. I need a crude longsword. Okay, let's uh, create a crude longsword for beforehand. That's easy enough. Ah, many. This is a very long quest indeed. I was not prepared. And I've never done it before, so that's the reason why I'm kind of, you know, once in a while have to check what's going on. So we did that, and now we can create the... Wait, 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 wait. Do I have to create a prototype again? Yeah. Now I have to create a prototype alloy blade. Wait a sec. That would have gone wrong nearly. I need a prototype alloy blade, so I need a superior alloy. Let's do this then. How about you? You need a little more time? That's fine with me. Wait. Fra Brian Ambrosius uh, saw that the life of Mace Moon was inspiring yet tragic. Falling for Princess Moon and his love fled halfway across the world from an enraged father until assassins finally caught up with them. He died defending his love and she in turn carried his sword to a still pond where she disappeared, awaiting a worthy successor for the Mace Legacy. Closing the book, Prior Ambrosius found himself inexplicably drawn to learn more from the ancient text. So what do I have to do is research the ancient Pteric language and teach her the tale from the Legend of the Leafcutter. So let's do this first, right? Because we can do it in parallel. Um, yeah, let's go back. Oh, it's time for the sermon. Hmm. Let's... 6 p.m. No, I want to finish the quest. I don't really... That's not what I was looking for. I have to research here. Okay, that works. Now, as for Jessica... Uh. Let's hammer the metal. <laughs> These damn parrots. So I got the superior alloy. And now I have to create the prototype alloy blade. I can do that. Prototype alloy blade. Oh, go out with your damn freaking bird. That is really annoying uh, from the add-on with the pirates. I really don't like it. Call, release, call, release, not doing anything. Really. Okay. The combining of two rare ores into a single blade was true challenge, but the alloy took uh, to the fire and hammer with a perfect mix of resilience and supplement. Suppleness, yielding an extremely handsome and balanced blade. However, the true test would be running it through the spaces on the training dummy and trying the edge with a good sharpening. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Jessica is getting lots of XP for this. That's the good part of the quest. Now, I have to test it for 30 minutes on the training dummy. Well, that can be easily arranged. What about you? You need to reset. I need to pray to. Oh, wait. Deep in prayer, Prior Ambrosius has suddenly confronted by a dreamlike apparition. A lithe female figure stood on the edge of the mirror. 
uh, of a mirror-like pond, her flowing white clothes whipping wildly about her despite the stillness. She drew something shiny from beneath her robes and held it aloft, revealing a dazzling but broken blade in her upraised hand. Why have you summoned me? the figure asked coldly. Holy crap! Wither the pond to find the lost spirit. Um. Yeah, sure. Which pond? Oh, this pond? Are you the spirit? Pond Pixie. Okay, let's go there. How about test? <laughs> that works. Uh, panting with extortion of brutalizing the royal training dummy, Blacksmith Jessica wiped her brow and gazed down at the sword in her hand. The alloy blade seemed untouched by half an hour's worth of heavy impacts. This experiment seemed promising indeed, but just Blacksmith Jessica would not get her hopes up until it passed the sharpness test. So let's do the sharpness test then. That's the prototype alloy blade. Do I have to wet it? Yeah, wet it. Okay. Let's, let's do this then. Oh, we can stop here. Yeah, I will not do this. It's okay though. Focus is pretty high. Uh, whoa, 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 wait, that was too fast. With practice movements, Blessing Miss Jessica swept the last whetstone uh, along the experimental alloy blade. In just a few strokes, the shiny stone was split neatly in two, too. Wow. And the sword's edges gleamed with an inner fire. She smiled in delight. While the sword was lighter than normal and its hilt crude, the blade itself was brilliant and deadly. Finally, Jessica felt she had m uh, the makings of a true masterpiece. Only a resizing and the final embellishments remained. Great. But she needs more information from um, Ambrosia. So, oh, I have to charm her. How do I do that? Okay, I have to be really friendly. That's good because Brother Ambrosia is a friendly guy. So let's talk her to her a bit about artistic work. Chat her a bit. And then uh, get to know her a little yeah. better. Me Jacques. Even. Passa. So Jessica is fine so far. It's 9 p.m. She's done her tasks. Yeah, she can just talk with that guy also. Yeah. Tenic. Renic. Ubotic. Can you now? Yeah. Please grant me a hilt. Be friendly to her. Anger, huh? She's, she's nice. Hey then. Nice jewelry. She's drawn a bucket of water. Wait, let's read that. Pry Ambrosius. I've seen your heart and know your goal. You are compassionate and wise. You are the first I have met worthy of carrying uh, on Maid's legacy. Uh, before I can hand over the hilt, I ask a small favor. I've spent lifetimes mourning the loss of my love. This broken, broken sword is all I have left of his memory. If you can bring me some token to remind me of Maze, I will gladly offer the hilt in exchange. Oh man, this is going on and on. <laughs> Uh, I can give her the story. Ah, let's do that. Great, thank you, Prior Ambrosius. You have bought, uh, brought peace to my troubled soul, and so you may have the healed. Soon I shall sleep. I shall sleep. As my last Vintage act, I will lead Black Miss Jessica no to Mace Moon's hidden forge. Teshima Just Kone. find me when all is ready. Okay. Oh, we can do that. No. And you teach her. Bye bye. Oh, oh wait. 
Oh, she's talking to her son. Uh, there are more important things right now. Just it's it's the the <laughs> so teach her before she goes to bed. Yeah, that works out. You would not believe what I've seen. There was a pixie in the pond right beside your house. That's what you would tell an unsecure person, right? <laughs> the watcher smiles upon us, Jessica. I have acquired... Uh, an exceptional rare and ancient tomb chronicling the life and feats of Mace Moon, Volcom's predecessor. I will uh, spare you the beautiful archaic prose and get to the point of interest, namely the use of miraculous liquids to purify metals to perfection. I will need rare minerals from you whilst I provide the holy water by augmenting the well. Oh, really? So what are we talking here okay uh, well yeah we're not going to do this today however um, you can you could bless the town well and draw holy water right yeah we can do that I mean it's right there so let's bless the well and you you go to bed yeah it's just late so make some food and then go to sleep and you go to sleep after that oh wait no you need holy water right so draw holy water we now have a blessed well in our city not sure how long that will you know so let's take the chance there we go, holy water. Can we draw more? Three buckets of blessed water. Six would be better. Yeah, okay. That's okay, so we got that part. Um, okay. Since there's nothing to do for you right now, go back to the monastery. And... Um, should we eat first? Yeah, let's make some food, some seed porridge. Hmm. And after that you can... Oh, wait, I have to make sure that he really eats it. Hmm. That's not too cool. Hmm. Let's just put it there. And clean it up later. That's what you always do, right? Yeah, admit it. <sighs> wow. This is one intense quest. Yeah, please. Wait. Eat that. And then you can sleep. So, you research metallurgy next morning. While you prepare for the sermon. Yep. Let's just wait till the morning. That should be pretty easy. Oh, what? After pondering the details of Mace Moon theories... Oh, she got there like at... Holy crap. <laughs> Look at this. She actually got up. Um, of Mace Moon theory of metal lore, uh, as imparted by Lord Story the Great, she quickly reviewed Stordiria's limited body of crafting knowledge. Mace Moon's theories seemed sound. Further, Blacksmith Jessica uh, presumed that if she could augment the catalyst recipes beyond the mana stone base, at the critical moment, the, these ancient secrets could be yet improved upon with amazing effects. I'm not entirely sure what she means by that, but let's try. I have to do another alloy. Wow. Forge the alloy blade into unfinished legendary sword. So, I still have the alloy blade. Right? Okay. So I don't have to do it again. That would be nice. <laughs> um, where are you going? Okay, you're eating over there. Well, that's fine with me. Now, 
Um, Ambrosius does not really have anything to do. So let's just have him evangelize over here. And Jessica, you go back to your workshop. Where's your workshop? Down there. And wait. Stock that with coal and then you can forge. Ah, so let's have a look. Um, where is it? Unfinished. Le oh, I need one more superior alloy. Can I do it? Oh, I can't. Why can I not do it? I need for the superior alloy. Superior alloy. I need more adamant. Oh, that's just great. Okay. This can be done, of course, but it will take time to collect the stuff. Well, that's kind of annoying. And I can't remember uh, from from which deposit I got the adamantal. 